Hello. This is like, I mean, obviously there may be more, but I think when it comes to revisiting the draw box exercises, like obviously I'm never done and there's always a new learning experience to go by, but like the ones I've been covering from this point on, I'm going to like stop with that and try to find different insects, um, maybe higher quality images too. And considering all of the insects that I've done so far, sorry, <coughs> all the videos, I learned a lot. Um, big thing, it's always very helpful to have an image perhaps off screen of the anatomy of the given insect you're working on. Um, I think it's a bad assumption to make, to make it seem like they're all the same. There's, it, it always seems like there's some minor variations when it comes to uh, different insects. Some are more simpler than others. To be 100% honest, I found that the scorpion that I did, that was like the most complex one. Cause like, it, it, it's like built like an, it's like armored. <laughs> I mean, I have to say um, it's exhausting to really look at it. Cause it, there's just, it has so much bug armor to it. It's like a weapon. Like usually when I think of um, a bug or a, sorry, an insect, I don't think of all of those parts and it's just, I guess you could say it's very overwhelming. I mean, I wish it wasn't overwhelming, but maybe I should have handled it in uh, two videos instead of one. Cause I guess another critique of what I've been doing is that I usually try to cover the entire insect in one go of a video and it's a bit overwhelming for me. Um, goes to show my lack of overall experience in drawing insects. Um, and I have a lot more to learn. But, you know, just thinking that it, there's just a lot to, um, to them. And, uh, you know, there's so much perspective distortion based on the images. I guess just drawing a ton and a ton of them is the only way to go. I mean, <laughs> it's fun though. I like it. I'm not gonna, I'm not complaining when I say this. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's so interesting. <laughs> um, I guess I'm always surprised at what I'm learning. Um, but yeah, I think perhaps when you're starting off, do challenge yourself with a complex insect, but do know that you're probably gonna mess it up. But it is a part of the learning process. Oh, those things are different. Interesting. Um, I'm just doing the gesture. And I say this in every video I do for this. Um, when I think of gesture, I think of straight lines, which you rarely use. Um, although I've proven myself wrong with the last video I made on the scorpions, in which I should have used a box to summarize the body. <coughs> but I, I didn't, and I, I kind of paid for that. Um, I use, uh, sorry, straight lines, rarely. S curves, C curves, or circles to summarize the gesture of the thing. So as we see our spider here, um, it, it always seems like spiders are a bit simple, even though that is not always uh, the case. There's a lot of complexity that you really do have to watch out for. Um, like obviously not everything is visible on this tarantula. Uh, we could see we could almost see all of the legs. I, I see that uh, the back leg is a bit obscured because I realized a lot of spiders, if you ever, if you look at tons of images of spiders, I've noticed that, that they tend to, uh, <coughs> they tend to hide, they tend to hide certain legs. And I always kind of wondered why. Um, my theory is well, I don't know, and I don't like to jump to conclusions, but my theory on that is uh, something to do with trying to mimic other insects, or they're trying not to look like a spider. But I could be dead wrong on that, because 
there are a type of spiders called uh, ant mimics. Or I don't know if it's like a species or it's something like that. But basically that whole uh, breed or whatever tries to look like ants in an attempt to look friendly until they uh, grab them and eat them for dinner. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Um, so the thing is, so far I've drawn the, uh, cephalothorax, which is like the head here, and I drew the abdomen here, and, uh, here I attach the four legs on that side. I still have to do the four on the other side. Um, oh, also here and here. I was a bit confused, uh, looking at the tarantula, but since I have another anatomy of them off screen, apparently it has, like, these two extra things. They're called pedipalps. I'm probably saying that name wrong, so don't beat me up. And, uh, like, I... <laughs> and it also has, like, those fangs, which are called, uh, chilisuri. Probably saying it wrong. Um, yep. But there's a lot going on with our, uh, spider. And it's really interesting. I, I find it really, um, interesting, considering this, uh, perspective. So, I don't normally... Well, okay, let me draw the let me draw the other leg pilot holes. And there is some overlap just because of the perspective. Um, well, okay, you know, what? I'll draw the top ones. They're a bit like I'm really using a lot of circles or ellipses. No, I don't like that one. It needs to be more. <sighs> I made that one too close. I think that's good. Okay, so I have that. And um, you may have noticed that here... I drew uh, two things back there. Those would be its uh, spinners or spinnerets. Uh, it's not 100% visible, but if you look at our reference image right here, you'll see that there is like a little point there. <coughs> and just based on our perspective, I think we're just seeing one of those spinnerets and the other one is obscured based on our view of the uh, tarantula. Um, now I'm gonna draw the lines trying to summarize everything. Like these, I'm um, summarizing the chilisuri, which to be honest to me, they, I always thought of them as like the fangs it uses. I don't know if that's like, I don't know, a proboscis. And the important thing here that I wanted to mention is uh, these gesture lines that I'm drawing, I am trying to match it up with her image here. And if you look really close, you'll see that like the spinnerets, they kind of like, uh, naturally go towards each other. It, it, do you kind of understand what I mean by that? It's kind of like, um, like one's like that and one's like that, or think of them if I'm getting it the same, kind of like that and that. They're not like straight, they're kind of like curving in uh, to like shield, kind of like a shape like that. <coughs> and the other thing I wanted to draw are the pedipalps. I don't know what those are for, but those are those things right here. They kind of like, based on the perspective, they're kind of like going up and out a bit. No, I made that too far. No. Kind of like that. No, I should have made that one going out a bit further. Kind of like there. That's a bit too weird. Kind of like let me do it one more time. Two more times. <laughs> kind of like that and that. Um, now I'm going to try to draw the legs. And the important thing about spiders that I kind of learned is more often than not, you can't see it. But unless you're like looking at the underside of a, a spider, but they usually have like a, a starter bean shape going out before it like goes kind of like that. Like I've noticed it ha it has that for like every leg and it's usually obscured 
by the perspective. I do recommend you look of like look at pictures of arachnids of their underside, and you'll see those uh, connections. But I'm going to draw that gesture. That's a bit too far. Kind of like that. And the interesting, just to show you, um, if you're looking at the image here, if I can't stress looking at your reference image enough, um, if you see that leg, it's a bit obscured, but that's a part of a leg section. So it kind of like goes up and kind of like that. And you know, the thing is like that leg looks smaller. It's not like, I believe all of the legs are the same size and it's just like a perspective illusion you know the other thing is like back here we can't even see all of the we can't see all of the last leg it's just so obscured by the perspective that and that and it's a uh, back left third leg is kind of obscuring it that we just see that but like it would be connected something like that which i think or i'm probably the important thing to know is that it's just a bit obscured and I also kind of want to get it to match that. So there's a lot to be um, aware of and mindful of when you're uh, doing when you're doing that. Now I'm going to try to get the other legs. Obviously, like this leg is so obscured by perspective, it's really like going behind itself, and that part is kind of obscuring obscuring it. And based on like the angle and all of that, it's a bit obscured. Um, that leg, you can kind of see it, but it's also obscured, which is a bit disappointing. Kind of goes like that. That leg kind of goes like And the important thing here is you see this line I drew? I wanted it to, uh, I, I see a mistake that I already Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't draw those things yet. Okay, so actually, before I do that leg, I'm going to draw the uh, pedipulp, which kind of just like goes up. Oops. Kind of like, oh no, I'm sorry, I I already drew those, I'm sorry. Um, so it kind of like, um, just need a second. It like goes through it ever so slightly if you could kind of see the shape that i'm trying to match i should have made it go down a little bit more so i'm going to do that one more time kind of like that that's like that gestural flow line that i'm seeing and for the front right leg it's kind of just like kind of like that so i wanted to draw those uh, gestural lines before i started honing out more of the structure so at this point, I want to get the thing that I know like I'm going to forget. Um, I wanted to draw the web spinner, which is like, it's an ever so small point. And I, we're, not, we're not seeing all of it because I know like I'm looking at another picture off screen of the anatomy of a tarantula and those spinnerets are like pretty distinct and large. So we're like only seeing the tip of the uh, left one. So like the other one exists, but it, like I said, it's just obscured by the perspective. But I could just see, I could just see it ever so, ever so slightly and I just want to put it there because I think it's uh, a good detail to be aware of. Okay, so now I want to draw like the, like, okay, it, it, okay. So like, I've looked at a good deal of spiders and it's kind of like there's like an interesting armor uh, going over um, the, the, like, its head portion. It's kind of like, like, I was thinking back to the tarantula exercise, and I'll show. There's, like, this, uh, well, actually, it's a bit closer. There's a shape that, like, goes over the fangs. Does not go over the legs. But it kind of connects like that. Like, you see... Um, this shape is, well, you know, I should have made it go down a little bit more. So let me do that. 
The important thing is that this shape is not going over any of the legs. It's just like on the top part of it. And you can see here on the image, there's like a little black thing. Um, those are its eyes. So I'm actually gonna go back to adjuster real quick and just try to draw those two little things that are ever, like they're, they're really small. I, I'm not gonna try to draw all of the eyes because I, I don't know how many eyes they have and it's kind of hard to kind of hard to tell. I think they have like two main eyes and I don't know, smaller other ones. I don't have the most high resolution image, so it's a bit hard to say. I, I know I know spiders have a lot of eyes, but I wanted to um, add that in for that sake. Um, at this point, I wanted to draw the chalice array, or what looks to me to be the fangs. And the interesting, like I said, the interesting thing about the fangs, it's kind of like, they're like, uh, you know, I'm gonna hit it in one run. They're all kind of like, kind of like that. They're kind of like curved in a little bit. No, I don't like that. Should have been like opposite. They're kind of like that. The important thing is um, if you look right here, I kind of, when I put that like top head section on, I kind of obscured a little bit of the right thing. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I should have been more careful. Cause like I, like, like I said, the top head thing armor piece doesn't cover any of the legs or the fangs. It like, it like forms on top of them because otherwise those parts will like, wouldn't be able to move. I like think of like a crab, right? Like the, the shell kind of protects the crab's body for the most part. And it's like, but it allows the crab to move its uh, legs. <coughs> now I'm gonna draw the pedipalps. And it appears to me that there's about one, two, three, four. There are about four sections to it. The initial section here, it, I'm starting on the left one. It's a bit obscured, but it's like a shape like that. Then you go further and it connects to the other one, kind of like that. Um, so we have two sections so far. Then we have this other section that kind of thins out a bit, kind of like that. Then the last section. The interesting thing about this last section, um, here I see these two little two little things I don't know uh I guess I should have thought of that but there there's like one I'll show I'll draw first oh, you know what I'll do that there's like the last bean shape and then you have these they look like balls but I'm pretty sure they're like used to grip prey in some way and you know the important thing is that they don't lay on top they're connected to the end form <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to draw the uh, the other one, which is really obscured. I have to think about the line I drew while well, I did draw it. It's just very obscured. It's still there, but it's really hard to see. And like the, the four parts are there, but just based on the perspective shot, it's like two of them are like really hard to see it all so now we do the last one like that then the two ball like that alrighty so now I'm going to start working on the legs of our arachnid. Um, so it kind of, so the first one uh, kind of comes out. Well, actually, it's interesting. Yeah, it kind of comes out like that. Well, actually, it's interesting. It's like there's a smaller part. Like all of these legs kind of have this uh, 
smaller section first that comes out. I can't see it on the left side, but I can see it on the right side. But I think I made that a bit too thick. But I'm going to draw those first. Because I could definitely see it. It's like a intermediary connector. It's a bit like a cylinder in my opinion. And I can't see that one. Um, then you have like the first beam shape, which is heavily obscured. Then, um, then it's like, I'm pretty sure there's another one that goes up here, but based on the perspective, it's another, once again, heavily obscured. But it's like that, then it comes down. And it's interesting, this like here, it looks like a bit long and thin. And you know, I kind of want to make it like flat like that, just to kind of emphasize. I'm not going to say that word right. Emphasize. Oh well. But I will uh, try to do that. try to denote it. Then there's like another one. And we actually can't see the end point here, which is interesting. Gets a bit cut off. Perhaps I should have made it a bit longer. Should have made it out more. Then we have the uh, last section, which is more bean shaped. Uh, I'll try to keep it within the bounds I drew it. And the last thing is um, there are these two ball things again. just to be aware of it. Let's do the next leg, which shape is a bit more like that. You know, it kind of goes out a bit. I'm going to draw a... I think I kind of got the angle wrong here, but it should have been out more. Kind of like well, I'll, I'll draw over it just to show. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Yeah, I really messed up that gesture line that I tried to plot. Maybe I should have moved that one over more. Oh, I really messed it up. You have that one, and the interesting thing about this one is it's kind of angled a bit. You know it's got to connect somehow. Then I have like the last part. I think I should have made it a bit longer. Ugh, I'm not liking how this this is all turning out. It's turning out bad. <laughs> part is like the bean shape 
and then it has those two little claws. Alrighty. So this one, I could see that the shape is going up like that and connecting to it. Shape is like that. I should have made it a bit thinner. Kind of like that. Um, I'm going to draw a, but well, no, you know, I'll stick to the beans. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. And I made this one a bit too long. Should have made it a bit shorter. And kind of like that. So the back leg is heavily obscured. We could only really see like that part of it. And it's really hard to see everything else. I don't want to mislead you. So I'm going to leave that part. But I'm just going to draw the other portion I see here. The interesting thing about that one is I can clearly see the the second connecting part like over here. I can't see all of it, but it definitely like continues down here. Like the bean shape is definitely gonna continue. It doesn't just disappear because we can't see it. Um, so for that one, interesting, we can like see. It's kind of like that. Going in, we see a portion of the bean shape connects and goes over. It's a bit hard to see it. Then it thins out. We have that part. Uh, we have the last leg. I, no, I'm sorry, we, it's the third leg. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. That part Should have connected more. I see like a glue part here, kind of like an intermediary joint. This one. See that part. There should be two more parts to this. So it's a bit obscured, but I am going to try to roll with it. And we have the last end section. And it should have two little claws, as always. I also realized on the back leg over here, I didn't put those two claws, and I'm also seeing it on that one, so let me fix my forgetfulness. I can really only see one claw. The other one's a bit obscured. Um, okay, so down to the last leg right here. Ooh, I, I see a mistake I already made. Um, I think the abdomen is way too large compared to the reference. Like, and also I think the eyes should have been up more. Like I kind of placed the eyes a bit wrong. But oh well, I'm gonna see it through to the end. We have the last thing, the last leg. Kind of goes like over. One, two, three, four, five, and five, so kind of like that. Oops. Sorry, let me try that one more time. 
tapers. Uh, let me do it again. Then we're down to that one. No, I don't like it. Got that one. too straight kind of like that and the last one it's really interesting I'm seeing it like that it's an angle I didn't really think of no did it wrong kind of like that and I do see one of the foot claw thing can't see the other one based on the perspective but yeah I think there we have it um should have made that abdomen a bit smaller it's way too large and I think it should have been a bit smaller and fatter perhaps kind of like that shouldn't have been as large as I did it I should have thought about that more and I think maybe I should have made the I think the ball is right. Perhaps I should have the armor should the armor like the top head piece should have gone a bit higher. Wish I could have done that. But oh well, I'll leave it at that. Um, I know tarantulas have a lot of hair, but I think that's just something I'm not going to focus on, and I'll leave it at that because I think this video I don't know a bit longer <laughs> than I thought it would. But yeah, thank you for listening to this. Hopefully I'll get other insect photos soon and I'll start making even more videos about those as I make mistakes and try to fix my mistakes along the way. But yeah, thanks for uh, watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. Uh, this is an exercise from Drawbox that like I got marked complete. I was revisiting it um, and I wanted to do it for practice. I probably need to read the original critique from years ago that I got and do it again you know or just you know reiterate it make sure I absorb all the main points again since this is what I plan to go with um yeah if you like what I do please uh subscribe to my channel but yeah thanks for watching bye